Alright. I'm back. A little short video. I'm going to show you guys how to freshly clean vacuum or carpet cleaner or any other kind of electric appliance you want to clean up and get all the dirt out of. This is a, uh, this is a Bissell. This is a green cleaner or a green machine, whatever you call it. And it was all kind of full of mold and all kind of other crap and junk in here. But I cleaned it up. I showed it in yesterday's video also. But I did clean it up. Um, tools are gonna need first is a bucket of water, clean bucket of water. It doesn't really doesn't really matter if it's hot or cold. Just a bucket of clean water, decently clean, whatever. You're gonna need a wet rag right here. It's a wet rag. You're gonna need a dry rag right here. You're gonna need a cordless drill for taking apart the uh, screws. Oh, here's a screwdriver. Here we got an old brush, an old toothbrush. To scrub out the smaller areas in it. Whatever. And you also need a uh, air gun with the air hose. So you can blow out all the stuff that you brush up. You can blow it out, whatever. A lot of people say that a compressor is not good for cleaning out vacuum cleaners because it blows out the fans, it blows out, you know, it might blow out a wire or something and damage it. But in my opinion, air is actually better than using, um, air is better than using another vacuum because the compressor can get in cracks in areas where you can't get with the vacuum cleaner. So that's my opinion. I don't know about other people. We're gonna put these two screws in right here. These screws go in here to hold it down. I took us all apart last night, late last night, and I uh, cleaned it out, washed everything out separately, blew it out, blew it dry. There's still a little bit of dirt hit inside of it, but it's not horrible. Got a screw goes in right here. I also had some practice filming too. So that is good. I had practice filming last night. So my angle shoot was so shaky like last yesterday's video rather. And now you can see this comes up easier. Before it'll be stuck and it won't come up. But right now it comes out a little bit easier since you screws it down. I have to have a, I have to get a dirty water tank for this thing still unfortunately I don't have access to one yet but I will at some point There's a couple of those screws are still missing here we gotta put them back Alright, everything's back in. So now all that's done, I can finally put that back together. We're gonna do all of that. This has to get polished at some point. But I have no clue when.
It's kind of dirty, but it's not real bad. You know, it's got some stuff on it. This was recently polished and all cleaned up real nice. And the one great thing I love about these Panasonic vacuums is that they're really light. These things I can lift up with one hand easily. I mean, they're not heavy at all. This, these things, I'm over this power, this power wave says these are heavy. That's are really heavy. But yeah. These power waves are really badly heavy. Um, the great things I love about these though is that the hoses come out with no problem at all. These hoses can pop right off. So if it's got a clog or something, you can pop the hose off. And these, this thing right here, you can't pop the hose out. There's no inlet, so it's kind of stupid. You should be able to, but whatever. It's got all kind of parts in here. They got a hose. They got all kind of other stuff. Just kind of hanging around. Uh, brush walls, crevice tools, uh, bottom plates, and everything. So, all right, we're gonna put this thing together. So the first thing that goes on is this tank right here. That is the, uh, that's a clean tank. Right here, it's a clean tank. And we wrap the cord up the cord. And you gotta wrap around the back of it. Like that. This little uh, green cleaner is actually going to a customer for my buddy's parent that they're going to uh, use this. So after I got my other tank for it, that's why I was cleaning this up. If it was mine, I wouldn't clean it, but it's going for somebody, so I have to clean it. So this Bissell, it's all done. It looks a lot better now. You can tell it wasn't sitting around in the barn for the last eight months. You can just stick that in there like that. There we go. Alright. I got the sander right here too. That's not going to work on it actually when you're working on it. I'm probably going to look on this Kirby, but I'm going to do this off camera because I have a lot of stuff I have to do for this thing. I got to fix it up and everything. Take you guys out the garage and I'll show you the other vacuums I have. We got this. It's not mine, but still. It's kind of nice. And this is the compressor I use for blowing up everything or whatever. Big compressor, actually. We got this oil. This is left behind. This is, uh,. This is what I use for the colors, to clean the colors and stuff. So. I got my sharpening machine too. So yeah. Well, hit me up if you want to see videos of the carpet cleaners. I got two carpet cleaners too. I got 
to missiles. Uh, like my video. I want to get 15 likes in the video. And I'll show you on the house. I'll show you some more vacuum, some more stuff I got. If I get 30 likes in this video, I'll start doing gaming videos too. I'll get a uh, set up for the PlayStation. I'll do some gaming. Some live gaming vids. But I need some likes in this. My past two videos. First, my intro video and my uh, this thing. So if I can get 30 likes, I'll do gaming vids. If I can get 15, I'll show you some more vacuums I have, some more techniques. You know, if I get 10 likes, I'll show the uh, setup I have in my room for my gaming and everything. And also, I have this too. This is my uh, this is my downdraft bench. This is what I call my vacuum table. Only because it is a vacuum table. You plug, you see the holes in here. I drill holes in this side, and you can plug a vacuum in there. And when you're sanding, it sucks all the uh, the dust down here. I'll show you. I can show you guys. Yeah. Shut up, I got for this thing. First, you need this. This is a uh, adapter for extension cord, so you can plug multiple stuff in. All right. Next up, you guys haven't seen the rigid in action yet. Um, I don't think I've ever saw this. I actually don't think I've ever saw this before. This is brand new, actually, but. I haven't shown anybody the rigid vacuum yet, so I'm going to show this. This is the, uh, big, the big, the big bad vac I have. Probably the biggest vacuum there is in my collection, actually. Kind of loud. We also got it's pretty cool. Right here. It's what you call the professional detailers hose for the shop backs. No, it doesn't matter. It don't matter if this is a rigid shop rack or a craftsman. No, you can't see nothing. Give me a minute. Trying to unplug my hose here. There we go. Alright, so. What you do, you take this one off, like this, and put this hose on. Right? Then you got a hose that's twice as long as your other black hose. And it's also smaller, so you can clean out colors and all kinds of stuff for that. Clean out colors, the boat, other video, whatever you want. Um, but it's now twice as long as the other hose, and still, it's about an inch smaller. I can fit it inside the hole, kind of, not really, but whatever. Now, the best thing is you can do with this, too, is you can fit. You can take it off the suction and right, if you don't have a leaf blower or whatever, you can put it on 
here. And we don't have a blower. I'm sure it looks pretty good. And you can hook different nozzles on the end of this too. If you want to blow off your driveway, you can hook a, uh, a wider nozzle on if you want to blow out. I, fa I found these things look really good for pool toys or inflatables. If you have an inflatable and you don't have another compressor on your hand, you can use one of these. And it'll, I mean, it'll blow everything out real good. So that's why I figured out it's really handy. Also for cleaning out other vacuums too. And the hose is long, so you don't have to worry about the vacuum being pulled all over the place. I mean, I gotta clean out my entire shed with this. Like, literally. So, that's gonna be the video for right now. Please subscribe to my channel if you want other videos about gaming or the setups or the vacuums or whatever you want to see other power tools or lawn mowers, power saws, whatever keep subscribing to my channel and uh... you know like my videos, ring the bell if I get 10 likes I'll do some of these vacuums, I'll show you the Kirby too in the house if I get 30 likes I'll do a face reveal Plus some uh, gaming video. I just recently got Wreckfest for the PS4. So I'll play that. Um, that's basically it. Like the video. I'll be getting better at filming too. So. I'm expecting to get my camera soon. I don't know when.